Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the composites and their applications. So the vast applications are available. So in those applications, we will discuss some important applications in this session. Now, let me discuss the various uh, applications of the composite. See, not only in single area, if you find any area, so it will have a lot of applications. So before going to understand the applications and discuss the applications part, so let me explain what you mean by composite first. See, the composites, uh, if you take, it consists of two materials here. That is in general, two materials. I'm saying about uh, in general. That is one is the matrix in that the second material is added and which is represented as a reinforcement. The matrix means which is of having the maximum percentage, the second material is having less percentage compared to the matrix. If you take the example, so a lot of examples are available. You can take thermoplastic materials and thermo set materials like a polyester, vinylester, epoxy, phenolic. So these all these types uh, are represented as a matrix. And if you take the metals, so aluminium, copper, so all those are uh, represented as a matrix materials. In those uh, reinforcement, so this is the second material. The second material is added that is in the form of a thread, in the form of particle, or in the form of layer, or whatever. The shapes may be different, but the purpose is the same to increase the strength of the material. So, if you take the examples glass, ceramic, carbon, natural fibers, so many examples are there that is which are available and which are used to make the composite and which are represented as a reinforcement. So, combinedly, matrix plus reinforcement is represented as a composite material. Now let us take the examples here. First of all, we will discuss the natural composite materials. That means from the mother nature. See, if you take any lightweight creatures, so they are very lightweight in body and a lot of flexibility is available. So it depends on that flexibility and depends on that lightweight. If you make the other materials, that means what are the materials that we are going to make so the composite material what are the composite material that you are going to make so that must be strength so that means good strength fatigue life is available stiffness is good toughness tolerable so that means what are the properties that you require you have to add the properties or sometimes you have to remove the properties so there is a tyler made composite materials if you make that is having a lot of advantages so all these are have taken from the nature only Fatigue life must be increased and wear resistance, corrosion resistance must be there for a composite material, must consist of the lighter weight and by looking at the composite material, it must be attractive. So all these features must be available with composite materials. So then because of that, the lot of applications are available at the outside. See, in general, let me explain some of the features first. Two are more chemically different constituents combined macroscopically. See how the material is going to get the property here. How the material is going to get the property. You see, in general, two are more chemically different constituents combined macroscopically to yield the useful materials here. If you take the wood, it generally it consists of cellulose fibers bonded by the lignin matrix. If you take the bones, in general, they are having a soft organic matrix at the joints and that is permeated with holes filled with the liquid. So these are the two points and granite. So granite is a composite of quartz, feldspar and mica. So this is having a lot of strength and see all these are almost we can say that it is a natural composite material so they are chemically different constituent but they are added macroscopically see if you take the man-made composites so the previous slide is uh, the nature composite if you take the man-made composite concrete is the best example compared to any other concrete is the best example and we can say that concrete uh, is uh, having particular reinforced composite material, sometimes the laminar composite material. The next one is plywood. Plywood is the best example for structural composites. There is a layer by layer. We are adding the different uh, type of materials to get the strength. So, tile is the best example. 
if you take the tire so that itself is made with the composite material so that uh, the wear resistance uh, and the tear resistance uh, must increase so that means it is not going to wear for a particular period of time compared to the ordinary materials if you are the composite fiber glass is the best invention for the composite material with which uh, we are saying that uh, it is having a lot of applications now uh, if you see the composite material how the strength is going to be increased and how the materials are having a lot of advantage if you see the various uh, composite materials here See this, so this is having continuous fibers, this is having short fibers, and these are the particulates. So these are the different uh, composite materials which are available at outside and uh, for which we have to go for the application. That means we have to utilize these for various purposes. See, if it is having a stronger, harder, and uh, the lot of other good materials, material properties are available, then we can utilize for different purposes here. Now let me explain some of the things here. This is a carbon fiber, carbon fiber reinforced polymer, carbon fiber reinforced plastic. That means carbon pipes are induced in the matrix. So there is a what is the matrix here? The as a matrix we can take a epoxy polyester or vinylester or nylon you can take and the reinforcement, a lot of reinforcements are available. In those reinforcement, carbon fiber is one of the best reinforcement for that, and aramid aluminium. And all these are reinforcement which are added to the material that is a carbon fiber and applications. This is one application. You can see the different applications are available. Even in manufacturing by skill, we are utilizing this composite material. And especially in the case of aeroplane, almost 85% uh, of the aeroplane nowadays they are uh, making with composite material only. And uh, if you see, this is another application, fiberglass application, storage tanks. So these storage tanks are made with uh, fiberglass and the bathtub. So this is bathtub. So this is also made with the composite material. You can see here this is the piping system all these piping systems the pipes has to withstand a lot of heat which is going through it so that's why it must be made with the composite material so that it can withstand the heat generated in the pipes so especially in thermal plant a lot of heat is generated and the sports mask and the helmets especially these require a lot of strength but weight must be reduced for those purposes the composite material is the best one so that weight can be very very less compared to the other materials so this is also another application and the laminate floors so that means we can make a laminate different layers for our construction that is for our house there is a overlay material the top one printed decoration high density fireboards counterbalance so these are the various elements which are available in a single floor there is a single layer by adding different layers, it has to be compressed and it will become laminate. When you see the laminate, automatically it will have a lot of uh, good strength. So this is a laminated floor. This is a hardwood uh, floor. So with which uh, we can say that uh, this would be very, not only in a stronger manner, it looks uh, very good compared to the other materials uh, on the floor. In bulletproof glass, this is also another application. These are not ordinary. Suppose you assume like this. If the bullet passed through this layer, the bulletproof glass consists of, in general, normal, there is a blue, and polycarbonate, there is a red layer. So this blue color layer and the red color layer, so these two are, can be considered as a composite material. So in aerospace also, with the help of satellites, we are doing our best. So this is also another application for the composite materials. Almost a lot of materials are made with the composite materials only. That is also in aerospace. And artificial limbs, physically handicapped people, we can make use of the, that is for those also composite materials are used. And nowadays some advanced three-dimensional printing is available, that is 3D printing is available with which we can make the limbs, all these knee and limbs depends on the requirement, so in an easy manner. 
Okay, so this is all about um, there is a composites and its application, the various applications. So in the session, we will discuss some more technological parts. Thank you. Thank you, one and all.